What's up guys? Today I'm going to tell you guys what PC specs you need to have to have the best experience running all emulators while not breaking the bank. So if you want a PC built just for emulation, I'm going to tell you what to look for. Let's get into it. So we are going to talk about the hardest two emulators to run right now, that being RPCS3 and Yuzu. Because if your computer can run those two, it can run anything. And I'm not going to tell you the minimum, but the required specs because we want to have a good experience. Let's use Yuzu requirements since it's the newest emulator. For the CPU, you should have either an i5-8600 or a Ryzen 5 3600. That will give you six cores with both processors. But the graphics card, if you're a team green, you want to go with a GTX 1060 or a GTX 1660. For team red, the best card will be an RX 470. Now last but not least, the RAM. Now 8 gigs will get the job done, but you want to go 16 gigs 3200 DDR4 for the best experience. Now let's go ahead and jump over to Amazon and do some price checks. Now remember guys, what I told you were the required parts to get the best performance using Yuzu. Now, when you come to Amazon, things can really change because sometimes Amazon will have even better parts for cheaper. Take this processor for example. So the i5-8600K is $222. Now that's a 6 core processor with 3.6 gigahertz speed. Now, you can get an i5-9600K six core processor faster 3.7 gigahertz speed for 190 dollars now clearly the i5-9600k is going to be a better buy and the same thing goes for ryzen so the ryzen 5 3600 xt six core processor 4.5 gigahertz 289 dollars but get this you can get the ryzen 7 2700x eight core processor it's a little slower speed at 4.3 gigahertz, but hey, you're getting two more cores and you can't beat that. So I will go with the Ryzen 7 2700X. Now when it comes to graphics cards, if you're going with Team NVIDIA, I don't suggest going with the 1060 because it's an older card, it's really hard to find now online, and when you do find it, you're going to see prices at over $300. Like take this one for example, this gigabyte 1060 60 gigabyte card is going for $384. That's way too expensive for the power that this card offers. Now if you can find a GTX 1060 used online, I'm not really for used cards, I prefer to have my stuff brand new, but you probably can find a used card for a lot cheaper, but that's up to you. The card that I recommend is a GTX 1660, it's newer than the 1060 and it will give you better performance. Sadly they are all out of stock right now on Amazon, but here's a great deal, the Zotac 1660 is $229. And take a look under that, the GTX 1660 Super. It's a small form card, it's only a single fan, but for $10 more, you can get some more power at $239, and actually, that's what I recommend. Go with that 1660 Super for $239. On AMD side of things, I know I said go with the RX 470, but what's the point when we can get the RX 570 for $198? That's cheaper than the GTX 1660, and this card will give you the same power, if not more, than the 1660. Hey, AMD is the winner for the graphics card choice. And for your RAM, you will be able to get two 8GB sticks totaling 16 gigabytes by Corsair of 3200 DDR4 RAM for $63.99. Other things you will need to complete your PC build will be an SSD to install your operating system on. Here's a cheap reliable option, the Kingston 240GB SSD for $27.99. A hard drive so you can store all your ROMs on. Here is a Seagate 2TB hard drive for $51.99. And if you need more space than 2TB, you can step this up to a 4TB for $80. If you're going with the Intel processor, I recommend the Gigabyte B365 motherboard for $94.99. And if you choose a Ryzen processor, you should go with the ASRock AB350M motherboard for $82.52. 
Also, if you decide to go with an Intel processor, you will need a CPU cooler. And the one I suggest is the Cooler Master Hyper 212 Evo. This is $24.94. Now, if you decided to go with Ryzen, you won't need to buy a CPU cooler because all Ryzen CPUs come with coolers in the box. And to get everything up and running, I recommend this EVGA bronze 500 watt power supply. It's currently out of stock, but it is going for $49.99. And the last thing is a case. Now you guys can get any PC case you like. It's really up to you, but I suggest in order to save money, get a case that already has pre-installed fans. Here's a nice option, the Montac Fighter 500. It already has four rainbow LED fans installed, so you don't need to buy fans separately. And it's $56.99, it comes in black, and you can also get it in white. So here are the parts that I will go with for building the perfect emulation machine. I went with the Ryzen 7 2700X for the two extra cores and the faster speeds over Intel. Plus it comes with a CPU cooler, so you don't have to buy that. And of course, going with Ryzen, we needed the ASRock motherboard. We went with the RX 570, 16 gigs of RAM by Corsair, the 240 gigabyte SSD, the two terabyte Seagate hard drive, the 500 watt power supply to power things up. And if you need a PC case, I'm rounding that off at $60. I didn't include taxes, but with taxes, this bill will probably run you a little over $800. And remember, this bill will allow you to run Yuzu, RPCS3, and Simu at 4K, 60 frames per second, no problem, as well as the games are well optimized for the emulator, of course. Also, if you want to pick up a pre-built computer from Walmart or Best Buy, you now know the specs you need to run every emulator at max settings. And hey, even if you want to play some modern games at 1080p high settings, this will also get the job done for that as well. So really, this is a great all around build. Thanks for watching. And if you decide to build your PC, good luck. And if you decide to buy pre built, have fun. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to hit that like button and make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.